This is probably definitely hands down one of the best abandoned mansions I've ever explored. Top five, I would say. We are here for the explore, guys. We're not here to butt in personal matters at all. This is so much money. I've never seen so much owed in my life. But it definitely looks like some people have been in here for malicious intent. <laughs> What's up? What's going on? <laughs> Yo, I love pugs. No way. <laughs> Is this yours? Yeah. Dude, I love pugs, bro. This is Frank. Dude, good to see you again. Yeah, man. Good to see you, dude. <laughs> dude, you've been killing the game. I'm trying to. Trying, trying to. to? Dude, yeah, you're doing man. easy. Yeah, trying to. It's First surreal. start, you're getting virals. <laughs> I got like bedhead. You're like vlogging me on. Yeah, I got bedhead. I got bedhead too, oh, so dude. we're okay. All right, so for this video, it's going to be a tank top gang. We just got a tank top. I'm borrowing Jeremy's. Where's, uh, it's pouring rain. It's pouring what? Like, suddenly. Are you serious? Oh, no. That's not gonna stop us. Oh yeah, I'm down. We're still going for sure. Reason why it's been incredibly hot and yeah, I sweat a ton, so I need a tank top. I don't even have a tank top with me. Should have brought one, but I'm gonna be using this one for now. All right, we're heading out. We're leaving Frank. Frank's sad. Sorry, Frank. We had to leave. So yeah, he's on the window. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna head to the store. We need some bug spray and we need some drinks because this is gonna be a hike and there's ticks in the woods. And it's humid. And it's humid. We have everything against us, but we're gonna make it. Is yeah. that it? That will help for ticks? That's it. Okay. Mosquitoes, ticks, mats and triggers. Should we just buy one bottle? Yeah, I think this is plenty. Yeah. It's $10 too. Yeah. Got some Gatorade, some electrolytes in me. We got what we needed, we got the hydration, we got the tick spray, and now we're gonna head to the location. I will see y'all when we get there. We have a long, well, a pretty decent hike to get to the place too. So yeah, I'm quite excited now. I think you guys will enjoy this a lot. Today, we're gonna be exploring this abandoned mansion. This mansion was constructed in the early 2000s and lived in by a political family. Rumors say the marriage wasn't that great, and at the time, the husband was going to file for divorce before his untimely death. He ended up passing away and the home got passed on to his wife. Soon after the wife was running for political office in 2016 and it was discovered that she owed close to half a million dollars in back taxes and claims it came from her husband and that she had no prior knowledge to this debt. This ruined her campaign to run for office and she was forced to file for bankruptcy. The mansion ended up getting foreclosed and at the time it was valued to be over 3.5 million dollars. So we just made it to the location. It was a rough hike. We had to go through all these trees and bushes for like two hours straight. I'm not even kidding. It's right over there. So you see how the grass is just laying like that? These are deer beds. They sleep here. Wow. Their backyard was absolutely gorgeous. Look at the back side of the house. Wow, they had a bar right here. Okay, that freaked me out. I think that's just a toy. So we just made it inside. I guess that leads upstairs to the second floor. But I guess we're first coming through to the kitchen. And man, is it really gorgeous. The sun is just shining bright from the backyard. I love that. I love how natural light just seeps in no matter what time. They probably planned that out when they were first building the place. But yo, check out the window right here next to the kitchen sink. That's marvelous. And when you look up, there's some iridescent film on the ceiling. You got some stuff laying on the counter. These are fake oranges. I guess it was for decor. This is one lovely kitchen though. And some menu card holders they're shaped like royal crowns oh, 
and an old film camera. I wonder if there's still film in it. It's from developed for 05 2007. It's probably no good anymore. The kitchen comes with an island. And this is the stove right here, too. We still got some photos of the family that used to live here. Well, I found where they kept all the snacks right here. She still got the cereal and like a jar of peanut butter left behind. And there's ants all over the ground. Excuse the sweat. Now what's really cool too is we have another area right here that could have been used for like a little cooking area. Crazy how the front is just completely wide open, door shattered. And this, this is the best stairway I've ever seen in an abandoned building. Even the railing has some gold foliage on it. A lot of the stuff here in this mansion has gold foliage and iridescent foliage all over the place. It's unbelievable. This is not cheap at all. We got a high school yearbook. It's so old that the pages are just sticking together. I can't even open it. Someone must have thrown this TV. From upstairs. Looks all smashed up. And here's all the debris. The sun is shining incredible right now. I feel like I'm in another world. Just love the solitude you get when you explore an abandoned place. just like this open space and if you were to go up to the second floor you can just look down from the railing the walls are like I would say 20 to 30 feet tall and this is nuts though oh look at the pillar that pillar used to be right there and it came off There's not too much vandalism here. Honestly, you know, there's no graffiti or anything. So I wonder what could have caused a lot of this destruction inside the home. Maybe it could have been like the storms, the wind. I mean, the door is wide open right there. So maybe the draft just moves everything around. Not really sure. But it definitely looks like some people have been in here for malicious intent. I just noticed this. This fireplace has like this little typewriter looking thing. That's a beautiful fireplace. I love how tall it is and how there's a giant mirror and some columns. And it's cool too because in the mirror you can see the railing from the second floor. And we got some leftover CDs behind. Leave a comment down below if you recognize any of these CDs, artists, or songs. I'm not really familiar with any of them. Anita Baker. Hmm. Earth, Wind, and Fire? Okay, this is one I'm familiar with. I love that. I love this band.
We have this giant room that leads out to the pool area. I mean, it also leads out to the pool area from that room, which is the living room. Over here, I think this is like some sort of ballroom, or maybe they would have, or maybe this was the dining room, actually. Now that I think about it, with all the, the stuff over there, I'm seeing cups, the sinks right there too, water bottles. So yeah, was, there's probably a giant table right here. I don't know where it could have went. It's weird that a lot of things are left behind still, but stuff like the kitchen tables is nowhere to be seen. I found another photo of the family. It looks like it's a photo of the mom and the daughter. Check it out. I love the wallpaper. And there's some gold foliage too. It looks like it got painted, like hand painted on the wall. It's on every corner of this room. And the ceiling too. Wow. It covers up the entire ceiling. You found a garage? Yeah, it's a big four car garage. It's not anything like super special, but it's pretty cool. No cars left behind? No, no cars. There was like a bed <laughs> in there. Somebody was squatting in there. Oh wow. There's a bunch of papers, like bankruptcy papers. Damn, that's nuts. It's in that room. Oh, this bed's crazy, but backward. This is like a, could have been a kid's room. Like the kid probably stayed in here. Yeah, probably. And they have like that huge yeah. stuffed animal right there. The kid had a nicer place than me. Yeah, for <laughs> real. <laughs> it's a nice room. This was moved, so he thinks someone was here. Oh, okay. Or maybe that's it. Maybe it wasn't the kid's room. Someone just moved that in here. There's a lot of things on the ground. That's a strange thing to have. I know, it's... it's... I kind of find that annoying. A little bit. It's a little bit I extra. Know. It's too extra. Like. I've seen the one where they have the full thing where it goes over like the full bed. Yeah. <laughs> it's like go it's all like, out or yeah. something. Like come on, go <laughs> in between. Right. <laughs> this bedroom has easy access to escape or go outside. are taking photos over there we're gonna head to this room this is probably one of the biggest bedrooms here super luxurious oh my gosh look at the ceiling this iridescent foil that's really expensive it matches the bedroom really well probably definitely hands down one of the best abandoned mansions I've ever explored. Top five, I would say. It's absolutely incredible. I've never seen iridescent in a mansion. This is the first time ever. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts about this place. I would love to hear all about it. And come say hi in the premiere chat. This video is probably premiering right now. If you've been enjoying the video so far, don't forget to smash the like button and to share the video to anyone that you would think would enjoy watching this. I haven't even seen the other rooms upstairs, but I don't think anything can top this room for sure. I think this was definitely the master bedroom because it has this large bathroom attached to it. Oh, and a giant walk-in closet. This is probably all her clothes. Everything's just left. She didn't pack up anything. There's a bill right here for electricity. Total due, $420. Wow, they're pretty nice clothes. Oh, no way. 
All her shoes are still here. Jennifer Lauren. Colin Stewart. A lot of them are from luxury brands. I didn't want to wear a t-shirt in this hot weather, but I'm still sweating so much. Made no difference, I guess. Got some more clothes on this side. Some magazines of Egypt. We got some paper here from the court detailing about what happened to the husband and wife that used to live here. I'm gonna keep that private. And just blur everything important that I see. We are here for the Explorer guys. We're not here to butt in personal matters at all. You know, I just wanna show you guys around and document this beautiful home because who knows when this place is gonna be gone or fall into disrepair. I mean, it's already doing that. So give it like a few more years if they don't do anything about it, this place will be pretty trashed. Wow, this bathtub is a nice one. What this is? There's like some white powder inside. Let me know down in the comments what you think it could be. That kind of looks like alcohol. Even the bathtub has the iridescent foil. Although this one's kind of falling apart, as you can see. And again, right across, you have another walk-in closet. This lady had a lot of clothes. Oh, you see a. Uh... A reunion photo. Award of Excellence, Diamond Award, 1994. All right, so far we seen everything on the first floor. I think it's time we head upstairs. Hope you guys have been enjoying the video so far. If you have, don't forget to smash the like button. I'm quite excited to see what else we can see. Oh no guys. There's like a, a baby mouse that's passed away. Right here. It is super hot up here. The second floor doesn't look too big at all. It's a nice view for sure. You can see the pool from up here. Crap, I turn around. Look at this window and there's like these giant horse flies. I think they bite too. I don't want to find out. I'm not sure where to start. But I think we'll start off on this side. Oh dang. It's just a bedroom. Oh my gosh, I can see a giant wasp right on the door. That's a fat one. Hmm, looks like they had like a pet mouse or a hamster. <gasps> no, it could have been the mouse on the stairway. Hopefully not. Rest in peace. Hit the thumbs up for a rest in peace for the mouse. Yeah, I don't want that thing flying out over here. There's probably like a hive somewhere. from baby fat. Oh crap. Oh, hell no. Don't fly up to me. Okay. <laughs> I just ran out of there. That wasp looked deadly. Let's go check out this side. We'll visit it again. Maybe it'll be gone within like a few minutes. Not that there was much inside there. This one has like a little hallway balcony and probably two other rooms. It's complete. 
completely empty. It's just strange, you have this wardrobe, and right in the middle you just have this book placed called The Book. Is that a trap? What's this book about? The Book. What is the book? Oh, it's the Bible. Interesting. So each bedroom upstairs had their own little balcony. You can just walk right out to it. Oh wow, it's locked. Can't even open it. Okay, actually you can open it if you really wanted to. The bedroom comes with its own bathroom. This is probably the daughter's bedroom. It kind of looks like a kid's bathroom with like those knobs it has and there's like some makeup on the counter. And right next to it was this giant walk-in closet. It smells really bad. There's like some animal feces inside here. Oh, you still got some clothes left. And if this was like the kid's bedroom, it makes my room look like crap. So big. So right in this corner here, you had like this pug poster. It says, happy mom to the best mom ever. Uh -huh. So I bet they had like a pet pug. Oh, okay. Does it lead to a bedroom or does it just lead downstairs? Yeah, I think that's the stairway going to the kitchen. All right, I'm back in the bedroom and I think the bee is behind the curtain again. So we can just freely check around. Just stay there, please. Don't move. Hopefully that's the one that we saw earlier. So many clothes. This is like all kid size too. Yeah, they're just everywhere. Looks like they had like a bird cage too. So they had like a pet bird. It's kind of a bad place to store it. It's super hot up here. So I just got back down. We're about to head out and check out the exterior of the place. But look at this, I just found the garage that my friend was talking about. I guess there's like some squatter living here at one point. That kind of shows how long this place has been abandoned for. It definitely looks like someone slept here. There's even like a rain jacket. I feel like I'm in a yard sale. has been open for. We still got some TVs here. Oh, these were the court papers my friend was talking about. I'm gonna blur a lot of this stuff out. But it's telling, it's saying all the money that the family owed. And it was a lot. 
Jeez. This is so much money. I've never seen so much owed in my life. Yeah, they're just chilling while they wait for me. Almost done here. It's a beautiful sunset right now. I guess over here was some sort of a little kitchen area. Actually, no, it was a bar because this thing would open and I guess when you're just chilling in the pool, you just grab your drinks here. That's dope. Yo, how do you like this place, man? I love it. It's right? insane. Just made it to the pool area. I'm about to get a cool photo right here. I don't know why, but it's always cool to just get a shot with the pool. Yeah, we're just chilling, taking some photos in the back. I think they had like a little chicken farm at one point. Yo, I love that. One day, if I have my own home, I want like a chicken farm in my backyard. I have a few friends, shout out to Andrew, that do it, and they just have like free eggs all the time. Wow, the pool is a mess right now. Arabic tip 101, if you're looking for bandos, go on Google Maps, use satellite, and try to find places where the pool looks run down. Most likely the place will be abandoned if you see a run down pool. A little close up of the back side of the mansion. I know we saw this when we came in in the beginning of the video, but I just want to spend more time. Like one thing I'm noticing are the, uh, the symbols on the wall here. I think that was where the fireplace was. I love this, I love the pillars. So yeah, we just saw a drone flying around. We're gonna head inside. We don't know who could... Yeah. I think they probably parked that way. It's probably another group checking to see if they if they want to explore this place. Yeah, <laughs> same spot we were down at. Yeah, right? <laughs> just made it to the front of the mansion. Jeremy is about to fly his drone. I might do the same thing honestly. Lately I've been exploring uh, stuff a couple hours before the sunset because I love just like staying for the sunsets you know. It just feels way more magical and yeah you don't really want to explore in the afternoon. It's also very hot. Right now it's just cooled down so it's perfect. But yeah this mansion is a beauty. Unbelievable. So I got the last place to check and it's this barn right here. Apparently this was also a guest house. The guy loved his horses apparently. Here's one of the horse stables. It's a big one. So we just got inside the guest house. It's nice. Just have a little living room right here. A little kitchen dining area. And the 
bathroom. Got this on the washer and dryer. inside that sleeping bag. Someone definitely squatted in here though. Alright. Well I just got back outside. I'm not sure how my audio sounds with all these bugs making noises. So I think we're gonna head out and wrap it up. I'll see you when I get to the car. Just made it back to the crib. We couldn't escape the master. We signed a contract with our souls for him. Some people. Master Frank. Master Frank. Master Frank, the deed's been done. What else do you want from us? <laughs> anyway, I'm ready to just like take a shower, check for ticks, and unpack in my bedroom. What's up guys? So just got to my room. I'm gonna end the video here. It's been a wild, crazy day, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments what you enjoyed most about it. Um, for me, this place was very, very special. I mean, it was one of the most unique abandoned mansions I've ever explored. With all the iridescent and the gold foliage, it was, it was just incredible. I'm just barricading the door right here because Jeremy's dog literally just barges right and he like legit tackles the door and pushes it and then jumps on the bed so I'm trying to sleep and he'll probably try to wake me up. He's a crazy dog but he means well but yeah guys so I'm gonna end here stay tuned for the next video every Wednesday and Saturday 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern time. Peace and thanks for watching.